Welcome back to Wake Up America. I'm Christina Thompson. Another momentous achievement for Facebook, but not the one that the platform will likely celebrate. The social media giant dropping a massive 26% in its stock price on Friday after a lackluster projections report. And now here to discuss the stock drop and the implication this has on the wider tech industry is CEO and co-founder of Freespace Social Inc. John Willis. John, how are you? Welcome to Wake Up America. Thank you. I'm doing well. Good. Well, John, I want to ask you. So Facebook's $232 billion value fall sets a one-day market record. How does this affect the tech space in general? And and what are you guys doing um, over at your company with this news? You know, I think it's a big shocker uh, to Facebook itself um, because I think they've been riding high for so long when they got this news that the their stock price dropped that much, 26%. Um, I think it caught them all by surprise. But from us on our side, we weren't surprised at all because we feel that Facebook has truly uh, overplayed their hand. What they've done is over the past few years, they've altered the way they do their advertising uh, to make it much more difficult to run ads on their platform. Um, You know, the the whole phrase, go woke, go broke. Well, their ad platform has gone woke. And any, any type of user, whether it's conservative or any uh, nonprofit that may be um, a little bit controversial, meaning that they may be fighting child sex trafficking or something. Facebook has completely denied those types of ads from running. And, and when you deny that type of revenue coming in for, to your company, what do you think is going to happen? And so what we've done here at Freespace, we've decided, you know what, we're not going to make the same uh, stupid decisions that Facebook makes where they, they feel that they are alpha and omega when it comes to anybody coming onto their platform. We want to be a platform that champions uh, businesses, champions individuals, and allows them to to grow, to to make as much money as they want. And we want to be that platform that allows them to do that. Right. And, and you mentioned that Facebook has been flying high for so long. Well, they did have a big drop back in 2018 after that Cambridge Analytica scandal. Uh, but they did rebound after that. And I'm wondering, what are your thoughts? Is it possible for Facebook to rebound from a drop like this or is their market completely changed forever you know i don't i don't necessarily know yet because what they're doing is they're they're changing their entire business model i mean they've done a name change to meta and now they're entering into the the metaverse which is a new alternative reality where people can lie to themselves some more about who they really are um i i really don't know what their plan is because for me, the, the decisions that they've made from a business standpoint go completely contradictory to what you would learn in business school. Um, you know, they, they don't understand uh, who their customer is, why they're losing users in droves. In fact, their daily active, daily active user rate has gone down for the first time in years, mainly because people are sick and tired of, of the propaganda, the totalitarian mindset that Facebook has, and the control that they are doing of information. And they're leaving. And where are they going? They're going to alternative platforms like Freespace, Gab, Clout Hub. But they're also going to, to uh, I call it, quick entertainment platforms like TikTok, where the average user spends over an hour and a half a day on that platform because it's quick, easy entertainment, and they can flip right through it. And, and Facebook, in my opinion, is outdated. Right. And one of these other platforms is, of course, your platform. Is are, are you looking at this as a way to grow yours? Do you think that this this drop in Facebook has allowed for other social media platforms to be able to kind of jump on this and, and grow much more? Oh, of course. Yeah. We look at ourselves as the antithesis of Facebook. We are the complete opposite where we are championing championing people's individuality. We want you to be real, to be you. Uh, not to create some alternative version of yourself uh, in this fake world that doesn't exist. You know, we we want people to to come to to free space, to share information, to read articles, to debate one another without the fear of being shadow banned or fact checked um, or punished for that matter for having an opinion. And uh, you know, free space as well as other uh, free speech platforms are really trying to to capture that disruption that Facebook is creating on its own. And we feel that we are in a very strong position just because of the values that we have as a platform where we don't have this totalitarian type of mindset to control every single aspect of your life and to track every single thing that you do. We just don't care about that. Uh, We'd rather just have you enjoy your life, be happy, 
and share what great things you're doing in your life on the free space. That's a great business motto to have, and it'll be interesting as we continue to track what's going to happen with Facebook's um, and Facebook's stock as the markets reopen. But John Willis, thank you so much for coming on this morning. So you had some great thank information. You. Thank you. I appreciate it. And as we head into the break, don't forget to download the.